I'm Debbie Hibber Davis and welcome back to Baby Lady in Canterbury. We're thrilled today to be previewing the brand new Shine from our friends at Tule. Now Tule are renowned for making beautiful quality, really high class products. But at the moment, all of their products have been very much more focused on outdoor lifestyles and there isn't really been an urban push yet. And it's been something that really was lacking in the range. But here we go with the Shine. So the Shine has come along to fill that gap. But albeit that it's an urban push jet, it's still beautifully made and really sturdy. So if you do have a more urban lifestyle, but you still want to be able to go out and about with it, this may well be the perfect product for you. All of the wheels have independent, independent suspension, and it, again, all you get the quality that you would expect from our friends at Too Late. So let's have a closer look at it in more detail. So we've popped our bassinet carry cot on to start with. And there is an option to buy this, when you purchase it, you can just buy it with a lay flat seat unit. The lay flat seat unit, we'll show you a little bit later in the video, can be used from birth if you use it with a newborn pod, um, or also there is um, a soft cot that you can use as well. Um, but you could potentially use the seat unit for um, maybe a younger child if you didn't want necessarily the carry cot. And there are also car seat adapters for this, and they will fit a range of different car seats. Our car seat adapters haven't actually arrived yet, so I can't show it to you with the car seat on. But let's have a look at this in more detail. So of course, as you would expect with Too Late, it pushes beautifully, and it does feel really, really nice quality. Um, you can actually feel the quality and the sturdiness of it, which is really, really surprising, because when we weighed the chassis on its own, the chassis is actually under eight kilos. So it's not a heavy chassis, but it does feel like you're putting you're pushing something fairly substantial and it's definitely not going to run away or blow away from you so you've got this really lovely ergonomically designed handle and it is adjustable so for your higher taller person if i grab my tape measure because you know that we love you love the detail let's have a look at this so they say i think 112 let's have a look uh, so this is probably about 106 to the top of the handle. So it's not the highest handle we've had, but I think it will suit lots of different lifestyles. It's certainly very, very comfortable to hold. Um, this type of shaping makes it really, really comfortable. Um, and I like the non-slip handle on this as well. We'll have a closer look at that. So it is adjustable for various different heights. You can see right down to the lowest point, uh, which is even too low for me. So if you had maybe a child that wanted to take a push as well, that would be perfect. As I said, we popped our bassinet in and our bassinet is beautiful. It's really, really cosy inside and much bigger than it looks. And inside the carry cot, if we have a closer look in here, you'll see that we've got this lovely soft mattress. We've also got our soft padding all around the outsides of this as well. The hoods come in a choice of different colours. There's four different colourways. Um, I really like this sort of turquoise colour. It does also come in the misty rose. You can have it in all black. And you can also have it in the uh, signature um, grey melange fabric, which is also really, really popular. So lovely, good choice of colours. And I do think it looks very premium on this lovely black chassis. So we can take our carry cut off. But if we want to take our carry cut off, there is a button on this side here. If I turn it around, hopefully you'll be able to see it, but it's tucked in here. Just press this button down firmly and then it will allow you to just remove your carry cot. So it's really, really easy to do. And we've got little carry cot straps that just tuck away when it's in use um, and it's easy and portable to carry. It's very light. So um, even with a baby in it, it wouldn't be too heavy. If you perhaps needed to go up a flight of stairs or something like that, it'd be really easy to use. I'm going to pop this down and show you the chassis and then we'll look at the seat unit. So if we have a closer look at our chassis, so we've got a flip-flop friendly brake. You can push it on with your foot. And then if you did have open toe shoes, you can just press it off of the top here. All of your wheels are removable. So if you did want to take them off to make it smaller, you can. And it folds surprisingly compactly for an urban push jet. It's got a really good basket space. The basket will take up to 10 kilos in weight. So it's really substantial in terms of strong um, and how much weight it will take. And to fold it up, We've got a button on the handle, and it's really clever, actually. If I turn it this way, hopefully you'll be able to see. There's a button on either side, so if you're left or right-handed, it doesn't make any difference if you're more comfortable folding one or the other. So you press one side, and then you squeeze the handle firmly in the middle, and then your chassis will just fold down, and you can pick it up like this. It will freestand, and it will lock together. It's also got a locking catch on it as well, so it's really, really clever. To unfold it, all you do in return is unlock the side piece here, just down on here, turn it around, hopefully you can see. 
a little catch here and just open it back up. So again, it's very, very simple to use. You can also fold this with a seat unit on and I'll show you that in the next part of this video. We're going to swap our canopy from our carry cot onto our seat unit. And I just thought I'd do a little close up and show you how to do it. So basically what we've got to do is slide the hood out of this piece here. So just slide it up on both sides. And then we're going to unclip it from the back of the carry cot here where it's just clipped on. On these poppers. And now we've got our hood that we can pop onto our pushchair. So we've popped our hood back onto our seat unit now and we've just done that by sliding the catches just like we did in the reverse of the carry cot. Now on our seat unit, on our hood, we've also got an extendable panel. Now you can use this on the carry cot, but I thought I'd show it to you a bit more effectively on the pushchair seat unit. So there's a zip on the back here that you just literally undo and then you can pull your hood and look how much coverage that hood will give you. I mean, it really is superb coverage. So if you're worried about being out and about and the sun being on your baby, of course, these fabrics are all SPF 50 protected as well. Um, and the hood just poppers into place on the back here to keep it securely in place. Um, you've also got a viewing window on the back here, um, a ventilation panel, which is really, really useful, particularly if you've got lovely sunshine like we've been having recently. Um, it will allow it to be vented. And I think you can see as well, when that vent is open, um, it doesn't look odd. Some of the ventilation panels we've looked at, when you undo them, they just look a little bit awkward, but that just sits really neatly on the back of the hood, and I think it looks really, really nice. So let's turn it back around so you can have a closer look at our seat unit. Um, it does have easy adjustable harnesses that you can adjust really simply from here to slide them up and down, depending on the height of your child, so they're easy to use, no fiddling and undoing straps. It's got an adjustable seat unit, and as we mentioned earlier, it can actually be used from birth with the addition of a newborn pod. Um, and as you can see, the seat does lie down a long, long way. But you've also got an adjustable foot plate as well. So when your child gets a little bit bigger, so we've got one, two, three different seat positions, depending on whether your baby's awake or whether they want to nap. It's really very simple to use. And you operate it using a little handle just located on the back of the seat unit here, which is really easy to squeeze up and down. So our seat unit is also reversible, um, so you can have it parent facing, but you can also have it world facing. So when your baby gets a little bit bigger, perhaps they don't want to see you anymore, they want to see what's going on in the world. Very, very simple to turn our seat unit round. Again, we're going to use the same type of catch that we saw earlier on our carry cot. Just press it down firmly. It's just on the left hand side of your push chair. Push it all the way down like that and that will allow you to very simply lift out your seat unit and turn it around and push it back this way. We now have it in the forward facing position. So it's very, very simple to use. One of the things I really like about this product is how very, very easy it is to use. And at just over £800 with the carry cot, I think it's actually very good value for something of this type of premium quality. Um, it's very easy to use. It's going to fit lots of people's lifestyles. The other thing that's really good with this is the profile isn't huge. So if I go back to my tape measure, um, if you are perhaps in a more urban environment, perhaps where you've got narrower pathways or narrower streets, you don't want something mega wide. This actually only measures uh, 51 and a half centimetres wide. Now we know, because we've looked into this before, that we actually have very few push chairs on the shop floor that are under 55 centimetres. And when we first looked at this, we actually only had two. I think we've now got four or five, but that is actually quite important to some people. Perhaps you have a lift, you need to go into a, um, a lift in terms of getting up to your apartment. These things are all gonna be really, really relevant. So I popped our seat, as I said, in the forward facing position. You can see how much coverage you get as well with this gorgeous hood. It's also got this little visor on the front as well that you can tuck away if you don't want it. And let's have one final look on how we fold it up with our seat unit on. So if we're gonna fold it up with our seat unit on, we're gonna pop our seat unit forward like this. And then we're just gonna fold it in the normal way. And now the whole thing will fold up together. It will freestand, I can tuck it in. And that is the Tule Shine folded up with its seat unit on. We're gonna try it in the boot of a compact 
um, car in a Fiat 500 a little bit later and you'll be able to see that also on our video channel. Put it back up, same principle as before, just release your catch which is on the side of the handle and it's so, so easy to do. I mean, literally, there are loads of push chairs that are nowhere near as easy as this to use. So this is the fantastic new Tule Shine. Uh, it's beautifully made. You can just feel the quality. So if you do have an urban type of lifestyle that you want something a little bit sturdier, that's really compact, this may well be the product for you, particularly if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more sturdy than the very, very compact ones. If you do want any more information on this or any of the Tule products, do get in touch via any of the normal channels. Of course, if you want to come and visit us in Canterbury, we'd love to welcome you where you can see it in person and any of the Tule range that we have on our shop floor. Uh, but you can also purchase it via our website at babylady.co.uk. Thanks for joining us again today. If you are on our YouTube channel, we would love it if you press the subscribe button down below. We'll send you the other videos. And of course, we really welcome your feedback and your comments. And we can always learn from the comments that you have. So thank you for joining us again today. Come back and see us again very soon.